Welcome back, guys. Good to see you again. Saturday night here in southwestern Ontario, and I thought, well, I'd try and do a little quick live stream mobile this time to get to hang out with you guys and just say, hey, hey, Tech Fusion, good to have you here. I'm doing some 3D printing and just working on the lab a little bit. Sorry there wasn't a video up yesterday. Uh, apologies for that. Uh, I maybe try and go into a little bit more detail on that a little later, but things have been just absolutely nuts lately. So I'll do what I can and try and get videos when I can, but I'm going to give you guys a quick little lab tour and show you what I've been up to. With any luck, we can do such things. I have a new fuselage part printing on the CR-10 for the Edge 540, and it's working out pretty well. Cheers, Armando. Good to see you. I Actually, these are the ones that I've already printed. Let's, let's take them over right now. You guys got to check this out. This is absolutely crazy. Over in the light, these things are absolutely amazing i can't believe how well they've turned out it's it's working just quite beautifully the cr10 is just doing an amazing job so heck of a lot of fun and i've been ziploc bagging all the rest of the parts here these are the wings and ailerons for the edge 540 and as well they turned out absolutely gorgeous this aileron was one of the worst ones and it's got a little bit of tiny bit of banding but nothing to speak of it's working out ah, just absolutely beautiful in the cr10 corner i went ahead and got a raspberry pi set up you've seen this before the kitchen pie uh, this is my kitchen pie interface web interface showing me just youtube videos that i like date time weather all the kind of cool stuff so i'm pretty happy with this little corner and i even have some studio lights working now I really couldn't be happier with this setup so each night I come down here when I get some spare time plug in an SD card and send the CR10 on its way to chug away on a new part for the Edge 540 and it's it's just working beautifully this thing guys you got to check out the CR10 unbelievable quality of printer for the price you pay for it, it's the best bang for the buck in a 3D printer I've ever seen in my life. And I've been 3D printing for over five years now. So, got a bunch of new filaments down there. Mounted the fire extinguisher. Pretty happy about that. Kind of handy. And this is a, a little sneak peek for you guys. I think we're going to do a, another giveaway on the channel. I think I'll do this for uh, my Patreon supporters. I have a brand new fly sky radio system the fst6 now this is a getting a little long in the tooth now it's not a new radio system but it's an incredibly capable one so i think i'm going to use this uh for the giveaway and somebody can use it for uh more than likely best for rc plane but uh oh you could use it for quadcopter or anything perfectly capable and i finally got the raspberry pi robot set up um, new parts arrive for this, but unfortunately they're waiting on a mailbag video. And once I finish the mailbag video, we can mount them in here. The long and the short, the piece that I was missing was for the steering linkage. <laughs> Cheers, Richard. Hey, Crazy Steve. I was missing the stepper motor and the uh, rod to go down. It's just, just Acme threaded rod and uh, a coupler, a Z coupler for a 3D printer to hook onto the, to the front wheels. And it's here, and once I do the mailbag, we should be good. That should be, ah, that should be fun. And obviously install some batteries and stuff in it. And over in this corner, I've been, well, you've seen the rockets. I will do a video on this large monster SpaceX rocket. Uh, on how I made that because you can't uh, download that model directly but you can download his little brother and I printed some other ones and I kind of want to adapt those to a rocketry project but we'll see 
the Red October quadcopter. Unfortunately, I ran into some problems. The flight controller died. My Betaflight F3 just kicked the bucket, so I contacted Flight Test, uh, wrote a riot actually, and uh, they sent me a replacement free of charge. So I'm gonna get that back going pretty soon, and I tried to get this out for a flight the other day, but the weather just went absolutely horrible. Those are GB210 quads. Videos are on my channel. I simply love them. And then I've got some other quads up there. Fun stuff. And upcoming as well is a, a comparison. Well, it's not even a comparison. I'm going to just do a quick video. Instead of a review video, uh, it's going to be a best RC transmitter that I have ever used for quadcopters and here's the two of them the FSI 6 and the Tyrannus QX7 depending on your price range one of these two if you're into getting into quads you're gonna buy one of these two uh, if you've got 50 bucks to spend you're gonna buy the FSI 6 in my opinion and if you got a hundred bucks you're gonna buy the QX7 and you'll never look back they work fantastic I've been putting that QX7 through its paces for a couple of weeks and I'm pretty happy with it overall it it simply works it works amazing i'm super tickled so i just wanted to catch up with you guys for a few minutes and maybe chat live and it was good to see a few of your messages and catch up i wanted to stream live from the workshop but i couldn't do that tonight because uh I'm setting up my streaming PC right now. If you go to makeme.tv, you'll find my live stream is running 24 hours a day, and I'm changing over to uh, for my from the lab broadcast to a, a multi-stream, so I can stream on Periscope, uh, everything but Facebook, basically. You can catch me on Twitch, Periscope, YouTube, everything. Once I get that set up, so I'll finish that as soon as I finish this live show. And yeah, maybe tomorrow night we can do something like that. It's a it's a crazy time, guys. Glad I could catch up with you. This, this is all I had planned. Click that thumbs up if you like these videos, if you like what I'm doing in the lab here, if you like the content. It really, really makes me feel a lot better about things because lately YouTube's been demonetizing and just been... It's been a little bit...